Drivers with disabilities can drive, and there's a lot of options available to them. On a trip to Calgary, we caught up with Nelson Shadanoff. He's the owner of South Trail Driving School, and he went over all of the options available to drivers with disabilities. Stick around, we'll be right back with that information. So I'll start with the, uh, it's called the RF360 Mini, where you got all six buttons here for the different functions around your car. So in order for these to work, I got to start the car. Same as any other uh, instruments in your car, uh, you got to start your car for them to get go to, to work. So here we go, we got our regular signal right regular signal left now i'm going to do it with the 360 mini rf 360 here we go signal left and i push it on again to cancel and it cancels by itself after 15 seconds and at a light you stop at a light you got it on as long as you got your foot on the brake or your hand on the brake the signal light stays on Okay, so I'm going to cancel the signal light. Here's my horn. Uh, here's the wipers. Okay, and you got to click on it four times to turn it off. Here's uh, low beams, high beams. Okay, and again, here's the right hand signal. Turn it off. And my windshield washer is on this button here. So this is the newest of uh, Sure Grip technology here for hand controls and then you can have it on the right side or you can set it on the left side uh, it's, so this way here you don't let go of your steering wheel the other one like this if you don't like the button sticking out like that you we've got the RF 360 and again it's made by SureGrip it's a Canadian company well known from New Brunswick and they got the buttons flush and it's a different kind of a handle we also got the tri pin for uh, so here we go so you keep and it could tighten up so you got the tri pin comes in pretty handy it's being used but again they have to let go to go honk their horn so now I'd like to introduce the hand control part of it so I turned the car off. Now I'm going to start the car. Okay, the car is running. And in order to activate the hand control, I got to push a button here. So that's, again, safety. Because you don't want your mechanic just to be uh, running your car with this system. There's our gas. There's our brake. So it's push-in rock angle. It's called the push-in rock angle left and right so there you are you can cruise all day work your way to vancouver or halifax and uh, you'll be just as safe as any other driver there's no reason why a person with a physical disability cannot drive so i encourage anybody everybody that needs this kind of system to do it okay now i'm going to show you a, another system now it's called your light feather gas pedal so this would be for amputees who ha don't have their right leg, they would able to be able to drive with their left leg? Correct. Okay. So amputees or people that's had a stroke, uh, paralyzed on the right side, now they can drive on everything on the left side. So here we go. So now we got the left gas pedal, and we got our spinner knob with the six functions on it. So here we are going with uh, Rick uh, testing this new uh, hand control. Uh, I got my seatbelt on and I'm holding on. Here. <laughs> I just don't know. Want to go that way? Just drive around the lot here, Rick, and then we'll go out on the streets, just slowing down on your corner. I like to say to the students, a 15 to 18 kilometers an hour. Yeah. You'll never go wrong. The car's not going to pull. Yeah, so it's it's interesting because it's just this, just twists, and then to brake, the whole assembly moves forward. Correct. Yeah. And you're right. It is the whole thing is like the brake, and everything is, is sensitive. 
people get used to it. You know, it's uh, yeah, like you're getting a new cell phone. How long does it take you to get used to it? You know, some people will take three months to get used to it. This and, system and, here, they get used to it like within a couple hours. Well, and it's very intuitive too, right? Like we're moving forward and all your momentum is going forward when you're braking. So you're already moving forward. So it's helping you to break, right? Sure. And then when you pull back, it's, you know, it's not something that you're going to mistake when you're driving. Now, the only thing, like you said pre before, is, the res is to resist taking your hand off the wheel. Yes. So that was with the old spinner knob system. As this one here, you don't need to take your hands off the steering yep. wheel. So. And then the, other, th uh, the you... other thing that I want to work on is, and then signal, slow down, and then around. And then I can cancel it or it will cancel on its own, as you said. Correct. Cool. As if you're using the regular spinner knob, you're going to be taking your hands off the steering wheel or the spinner knob yep. to go signal, honk your horn, use your wipers, which is highly unsafe. I mean, it takes three quarter seconds yep. to get into a collision real quick. And, uh, it distracts also your, you know, the old system, your reaction time. So it's going to take you longer to react with the old system. As this yeah. one here, it's right away, instant. I have to say I'm a huge advocate of back on the camera side. So here, of course, you know, to put it in gear, you've got to put your hand on the brake. Yep. So it's safe to change gears then. Yep. Now, the only thing, it's an automatic transmission, obviously. I have a kid putting on the parking brake. The only thing is, is that this, this vehicle would be a foot control for the parking brake, right? So, no, this one here has the Electron. automatic. Electronic. Yeah. If you got the foot one, uh, then there's a call, what they call the brake extension. Okay. So it's, uh, it's a little piece of rod coming out that hangs on to the okay. brake and they push it down. I'm still getting used to these newer cars having these electronic parking brakes. Well, I still show the kids, you know, before their road test, during their lessons, to put it on. Yeah. Even though it comes on automatically because I want them to get used to it. Yeah, I'll try to stay out of the puddles on your nice clean car. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about it. I'll wash it every day. All right, let's go for a drive. All right, Rick is uh, feel pretty confident here with this new system. When I was training in Toronto, Rick, um, so I was on the 401 with uh, my instructor over there while I was training, and I was always tempted with my right foot to push the brake pedal. Actually. Yeah, you, know, yeah. you say that. I have my foot <laughs> over foot the brake pedal. And what my instructor says, he's watching me, he says, you do that one more time, I'll tie your foot to the seat. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll give you lots of warning. It's always straight unless we ask, uh, Mr. Student. So let's see how Rick does here with signaling. Oh, this first left. So he signals left. Shoulder check to his left, make sure no Pokemons are there. Starting May 31st, where there's no yellow lines. Okay. Speed zones will be 40 kilometers. Oh, interesting. Yeah. But we're in a park zone right now because that sign back there said it was a playground. So, and playground. And a playground, yeah. Yeah, so right here. I'm just not used to uh, instruct a pro. <laughs> <laughs> So here we could take their foot south, so you'll have to change lanes. So Rick is going to signal, he's going to mirror, mirror, shoulder check. I watch a lot of his videos, so I got a pretty good <laughs> idea of how he does it. All right, Rick, so you see on top of the Barlow Trail, the sign that says exit 240. Yep, the mile marker. He's got me already. All right, you got it. <laughs> Most people don't know this. Kids, you know, 
I tell them we're 240 kilometers from the border. Okay, so is zero the border then? Zero would be the border. Okay. So with 1% of the population being physically disabled, apparently 75% of that 1% is on the age program where they receive some government aid. How about if we pull over, Rick, and use the left gas pedal now? Yeah, I'm so glad I got into uh, this part of the business of driver education, yep. uh, working with uh, disabled, physically disabled people. Yep. They, they seem like they really enjoy it, they really appreciate it. They have Want a pedal wreck? Yeah, a long <laughs> Okay. Like I said, it would take me a couple of days to... Oh, yeah.